Hola everyone, Vince here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to read a binary clock. And I got to give credit to Josh Rath for giving me this idea of doing a video on how to read a binary clock. So thank you, Josh Rath. And let's get started on how to read the binary clock. As you see here, I have a binary clock on my desktop. And this is the gadget version for Windows, Windows Vista and Windows 7. And links will be provided in the description if you want to download this gadget for your desktop. And if you're running Mac OS X, don't feel left out. I'll even include a link on how to download a binary clock for your dashboard in Mac OS X. So, enough with that. Let me just show you how to read a binary clock. Okay? You're going to have to remember four numbers. 1, 2, 4, and 8. 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 So 1, 2, 4, and 8. And a little side note here, if you want to remember something for a long time, read it seven times, and you'll memorize it for a very long time. So if you want to memorize 1, 2, 4, and 8, say it seven times, and you'll remember those numbers for a very long time. So that's just a little known fact. Continuing on on how to read a binary clock, the numbers 1, 2, 4, and 8 is represented by each row. So the bottom row is represented by 1. The second row from the bottom is represented by 2. Third row from the bottom is represented by 4. And the fourth row from the bottom is represented by the number 8. So 1, 2, 4, and 8. Okay? So there's four rows, and they're represented by 1, 2, 4, and 8. Remember that. And there are six columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are six columns because the time format that the binary clock uses is hour, hour, minute, minute, second, second. Six numbers, six columns. Each column represents a number. So, let's calculate what time it is right now. And it's fairly simple. Let's look at the first column. There are no lights on. This basically means this column represents the number zero. So let's write down zero over here. Let's look at the second column. There's one light lit in the first row. And there's one light lit in the third row from the bottom. So, knowing that the first row equals one and the third row equals four, we add them up. 1 plus 4 equals 5. So let's write down 5. The next column will be our first minute. So let's put a colon over here. So there's one light on and it's being lit in the third row. So 1, 2, 4. This, the third column, represents the number 4. Okay, so now we're on the fourth column. Three lights are on. One the first row, one the second row from the bottom, one in the third row from the bottom. So let's add them up. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7. So let's put the number 7. And the last two columns are represented by the seconds. Normally, a normal human being doesn't care about the seconds, so you don't have to calculate the seconds. But if you're interested, just do the same of what we've been doing for hours and minutes, and you'll calculate seconds. But basically, it's 547 with this binary clock. Congratulations, you just read a binary clock. Now you know how to tell time from a binary clock. It's fairly easy, but you'll get the hang of it and you'll get used to reading a binary clock faster and faster as you keep on reading binary clocks in the future. If you're interested, you can view my video on how to read ticks clocks, which is a totally different story. So just click on the annotation or just look in the description to find that video. But anyways, thanks for watching this video.